As usual, the Fusion 360 drawing is in the description, if anyone trusts my rather subprime machining skills. Here I should have used the forger chuck and dial it in on a machine surface. I think I introduced some error by turning the piece 180. This will be the cap which holds and centers the slitting saw on the arbor. The fit is tight-ish, but for the next time I would leave it a smidge oversized and sand it down. Since your cutting tool never leaves a sharp 90 degree corner, I am relieving the inside corner so the saw is only clamped on the most outer rim. The inside bore diameter of the arbor should closely match your cap, since this determines the concentricity of your slitting saw. Also here the inside gets relieved, but if you debur it, it wouldn't be strictly necessary. Two 4mm holes are drilled and reamed in the cap for tightening the saw. And two wrench flats are milled on the side of the arbor. But be smarter than me and make sure you have the desired wrench size on hand. A broken 4mm drill bit cut into two pieces and pressed into a piece of metal will be the arbor wrench. Let's mount the slitting saw and see how this thing cuts. This looks acceptable to me, but I have no idea how much runner the slitting saw usually has. And to my surprise, it also cuts metal. Well, this cut fairly easy. I think it's time for something more difficult. I have this humongous slitting saw, which is comically oversized for my mill. But let's try it out. And now we have a rather sketchy looking setup. Look at that. A perfect
perfectly uniform slice of watermelon. Thank you for watching. And on today's episode of Shit We Do for Internet Fame, this is disgusting. Ew. Mmm, what a great idea this was. <laughs>